अंबिका हैव यू स्टार्टेड द रिकॉर्डिंग यस सर ओके ओके सो प्रिया वंस अगेन गुड लक टू यू आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स टू लिसन टू द रिसोर्स पर्सन एंड डेफिनेटली आस्क योर क्वेरीज फ्रॉम हर एंड आई एम श्योर आवर रिसोर्स पर्सन विल गिव द आंसर्स टू ऑल द क्वेश्चंस एट द एंड वी विल हैव अ क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन ऑफ 10 टू 15 मिनट्स नाउ आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट श्वेता सिंह टू प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस आवर टुडेस रिसोर्स पर्सन यस सर Uh, good afternoon to one and all present over here i shweta mishra feel honored to welcome you all for the eighth day of two weeks long session of intra class scaffolding digital competency under the guidance of dr rajiv cha before the commencement of any good work prayer is the first thing that we do so that the things go well hence i request the technical team to play a college prayer सुखिना सन्तु निरामया भद्रा पश्य कशि दुख भवे ओ अस्त मदम तम सोमा ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृत गमय ओ शाति 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 श्वेता आई एम वेरी हैप्पी बिकॉज लास्ट टाइम आई सजेस्टेड टू इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड आई थिंक यू पीपल हैव इनकॉर्पोरेटेड दो सजेशन आई एम वेरी हैप्पी Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Please start now. Sure, sir. Moving to uh, moving on to the main session. Let us first have the insights of yesterday's session. The session was being accurately moderated by Miss Asfia under the supervision of Dr. Manakshi Lat. Miss Damini Vengurlekar was the resource person where she demonstrated the Edmodo tool. She very well explained about the varied features of the tool. uh where we got to know about the teacher can assign a great work on edmodo students can help from the uh, get help from the entire class on edmodo students and teachers can reach out to one another and connect on the tool by sharing the ideas problems and helpful tips now i would request ms prachi for the introduction of our resource person for the day ms priya singh uh Yeah. Thank you, Miss Priya. Am I audible? Yes. Sir. Yes, you are yeah. audible. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, sorry. Thank you, Miss Shweta. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very delighted to introduce the resource person for today, Miss Priya Singh. Miss Priya has successfully completed her master's in mathematics from Mitibai College and has been an extremely dedicated student throughout her academic years, being equally involved in the curricular activities. she has been elected as the secretary of the science maths club and also a member of the social media team talking about her teaching experience she has been a private tutor for more than 4 years and has also worked with an academy as a doubt solving educator miss priya has her own youtube channel named think numerically where she posts videos related to mathematics and numericals of physics and chemistry Being always inquisitive for knowledge, she has bagged many certificates by completing various courses related to web designing languages. Miss Priya is a passionate learner and is continuing her journey of becoming an excellent teacher from Bombay Teachers Training College. With this, I would now like to hand over the platform to Miss Priya to continue the session. Uh, thank you so much, Prachi, for the lovely introduction. The uh, good, a uh, very good afternoon to everyone. the tool which i am going to present today is google forms as we all know google forms is a great tool for creating surveys quizzes and much more and in this pandemic uh, it it is said that it has become a favorite tool uh, assessment tool for all the teachers so uh, i will just start with my uh, screen share and uh, take you to the website 
uh, is my screen visible yes yes yeah. thank you yeah so you what you will do uh, on the google tab you will first log in with your device uh, email id and uh, you you will uh, select just go drag go down and click on the google forms so here uh, you can start with a blank form or uh, there are so many templates available for contact information rsvp party invite t-shirt sign up event registration the feedback form are are thoda sa sunna tera wo charge hai kya jai jai can you please mute yourself test it please i will request the concerned person whose mic is on please mute yourself yeah priya continue yeah. thank you so let's start with a blank uh, template yeah so this is a site and here let's just see the features or uh, options you have here you have custom the on the right hand side you have customized theme then you have preview option and in the settings you have uh, many other options which will be uh, coming ahead uh, we will be discussing about that in a later section and uh, in this more section we have uh, we can make a copy of this form then move to trash if you want to delete this form or get a pre filled link so this uh, and then we have a print uh, we can print this form as well and add collaborators will help you to uh, add one more editor uh, to this form who can edit and view everything then the uh, script editor is basically uh, for the business administrators to uh, code and uh, to add some codings to it then this add on is a great feature on this yeah so uh, here you will uh, you can download this apps as well from google workplace uh, workspace marketplace and using this apps you can uh, uh, put a timer or proctor your google forms if you are uh, giving a quiz to the students you can even uh, snap the forms in a, into a worksheet form and you can even certify them which uh, will be uh, discussing in the letter by our uh, next mentor so yeah and then uh, this is the base form and uh, here also we have some tools add questions then import questions if you want to import some uh, questions from the previous forms we have already created then we have a uh, add title and description option add image add video and also how to add a section so now uh, before getting into the how to create a form i will just give you a sample a template i have uh, made in the chat box please go and uh, feel it yes i have uh, put that into the chat box just let me know if you are uh, able to access that uh, it has some uh, very basic questions so i request you all not to uh, in the right answers Yes, Priya. We can open it. Okay. I will just wait for a minute, and then I will show you uh, the responses as well. Submitted, ma'am. All.
So uh, this was the basic form I had created. It says that uh, good afternoon, students. Let have a let's have a warm up activity before the session begins, and uh, you will have to add your uh, good names. But here, I have uh, written all the names of the students in the class, right, including sir's name. But uh, have I uh, typed all these names here? So for this, uh, if I just go here, let's start with uh, your name. And then, uh, in the options, what can I do here is that I have this. Uh, Excel sheet. I will just click on the first one, and then I will uh, scroll below to the last roll number. It's fifty. But before clicking on that uh, cell, I will just press Shift key. So that will uh, just select all the roll numbers with their names, and I will uh, copy this tab, and then go to my uh, form. Before doing that, we will uh, select it a multiple choice, right? No, drop down, and then uh, for the option one, I will just paste it. All the fifteen names are uh, visible now. And if I want to add one more name to this, then I can add one more option, say uh, Doctor M A. I'm sorry, so. So if I want to preview, how will this look in a uh, for the students? In students, if you want to view, we will just go to the preview option, and we can see your name, and then we can choose uh, the students can choose their name from this list. And the next thing uh, which I did in the form was. Which animal is known as the ship of the desert? So, uh, camel is the answer to, of that. So here, I have used. I have just first inserted a question. I have typed the question, and then here I have chosen it as a multiple choice. And if what if I do it a check box? Then uh, if I choose it a check box, then the students will be able to take both the options. So, but only one answer is correct here. So, I will just use the multiple choice option. And uh, the next question is solve nine plus three minus two. It is a required question. So, how will I do that? I will select this required option, and here I have selected it. The answer I want as a short answer, right? And In this uh, three star, I will select on response validation. This option will uh, just check the responses the students are giving, and if it matches with my answer, whatever answer I am giving here, then only uh, it will allow the students to submit the answer. If you want to check, then I have selected here that I want the answer as a number. You can select text or you can select it as a Length or a regular expression as well. So I've selected a number, and I want it say uh, equal to my answer, right? And uh, the number here I want is nine plus three minus two is ten. So I want it exactly to be ten answer. And if I am not getting the correct answer, then uh, the students will get the option as check your math and. Try again. So students will get this option. Now I am going to view. So your good name. Then I have selected say my name. Yes. So which animal is known as the ship of the diesel? So say uh, suppose I uh, select ship option. 
then uh, for this answer if i am selecting uh, typing 4 then it will ask me to say, uh, check your math and try again so this option response validation helps uh, to check the responses of the students and then uh, if, if only if they are uh, typing the right answer it will get submitted so if now i want to select uh, see the responses of all the students so i will just go to this option responses so here uh, we have 18 responses uh, all they have filled their names and all then we have uh, which animal is known as a ship of the desert so 91 percent have uh, 94 percent have selected camel and then we have uh, one a five percent for ship and this correct answer now this is run this was my uh, form which i was creating now this form looks a little blank kind of so i can uh, uh, name this as say SDC template and uh, if I want to uh, uh, put a title of this form so uh, it is a bell ringer like uh, you can start this activity when you are just starting with the lecture before the lecture starts you can uh, give this like give this to the students to fill it and then uh, if you want to uh, say customize the theme so you will just click on this customize theme then choose a header for this so now if it is for a work please for a school so say i'm selecting this so here the image will appear at the heading and if i don't like this theme so i can uh, select the theme as well change the color of the theme or I, I can even customize if i want a red color so add that color so my whole uh, form is a uh, color has been changed and if i want to change the background color as well so there are only uh, three options according to the color so suppose I like dark pink, so I can select that. Excuse and there, me. yes, sir. Uh, I actually have raised my hand to ask one important thing. Uh, uh, for example, when we are doing all this changing color or putting anything, is yes, there sir. any plagiarism issue? Is there any plagiarism issue? No, sir. It's uh, inbuilt from the website. These options are already but, on the Google form. Is it possible to make our own Google form? Yes, sir. We, you have to just log in uh, with yes. your uh, email ID and I'm, just, yes, sir. I have, I have understood all this procedure. What I mean to say here, sometimes what happens, hmm. uh, many a time when we make this Google form uh, and when we collect the data from other people, Yes, sir. Uh, it, it came to uh, that uh, many a time this uh, uh, Google, uh, it gives our data to some other people also. Is it true uh, about the privacy part? Because many a time we start getting emails from various other people. So how they are getting there? Uh, sir, uh, it is because uh, when we uh, send the form, we select the option of link. We give the link. So. Uh, Whoever is having that link can have access to this form no, my, my question and is, can fill this form. I mean, my question is, no, I am saying that when I will, uh, when I am filling all my data, this yes, data sir. is there with you. But at the same time, this data goes to the Google also. And then it is getting circulated among various people. And that, that is, only, is there any way to stop that? Have you understood my question or not? Yes, sir, I have understood. Achha, meantime, you continue, then we will discuss it at the end. Maybe other people will also help us. Okay, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead okay, sir. Yeah. And there are also font style options, but there are just four options. If we want a cursive and writing, so we can change this font. There is uh, four uh, font styles are there. So I will just select the basic one. 
and now if i have select uh, made this form so now i want to say uh, go to the setting first we will go to the setting and uh, if you want limit to one response so that uh, if we select this option the student can fill this form only once and they will also require to sign to their google account while filling this and uh, sometimes when we fill the form it asks us that we can also edit the form after submitting if we uh, if we have made any mistake so we can select this option that the students will be able to edit after even after submitting this form and if you want the students also to see the summary or text responses whatever they have given we can select this and uh, while if we are giving for the presentation so if you want the students to uh, keep on checking their progress in between or if you want the questions if there are uh, if i had asked three questions i uh, so if i want to shuffle those for uh, other every other student so i can even do that with this option the, this will be helpful while uh, assessment part or uh, and uh, if you want to show link to submit another response so after submitting uh, you you will write your your response has been recorded or congratulations your uh, form has been submitted and now uh, click on this link so we can just paste the link over here as well and if you are giving quiz so if you want to make this a quiz part like uh, exercise so we can make make this a quiz and uh, if we also want to release the grade sometimes when we are filling the form after submitting it just gives us a report uh, the result so we can even do that or if you want to just uh, the teacher wants to uh, let a uh, review it once and then uh, give the grade so even uh, this can be selected and then we will click on save option now uh, when you have your uh, you have completed the form and you want to send this form to the students so you can directly send it to the via mail but uh, this option is like you have to type all the mails of the, all the students you want to give so the best option is like uh, you uh, create a link for this so this is just a, a big link so you can use this option shorten link so this will compress the link so and this would be a little easier to uh, circulate among your students and even if you want to add this form to your website if you have a website and you want to add this so you can embed this you can just copy this link and go to your website and then you can paste this so now i will be showing you one more uh, a different activity which we can conduct with the students let me just open one another form yeah so see that form is a mood tracker i want to check the mood of the students so uh, i may title this form as a mood tracker of the students now i want to check the uh, mood check in now first i will be uh, the first question would be a a student's name so i want to say or uh, say who are you if i want to say again use the drop down option but uh, 
here i will be required to again uh, go to my excel sheet and then copy it so i have one uh, i have already created one option one form regarding that so i will import questions i will select this option and if i want to say uh, upload questions import questions from this bell ringers so here uh, all the questions i had in that form will be di displayed here so i have to if i want to just import the first question your good name so uh, your good name and all the drop down options would be imported so now if i want to delete this one because i have uh, created another question for name so i will just click here i will delete this one and i have this okay right? and now i want a second question like how are you feeling today so i will uh, just add one more question after this five year question how are you feeling today now i want this to be a scale like of a question so what will i do i will go here and select this option linear scale so it will allow me to uh, scale this or rate this so if i want it to start from 0 or uh, go up to 10 but here i am just selecting up from 1 to 5 and the lowest would be say uh, sad and the highest would be the happiest so i have selected this and i want this question to be a required question like they have they have to fill this uh, question compulsorily they have to attempt this one and next time adding one more question say uh, select the emoji that represent your mood today so you you instead for the options instead of writing the option name like sad annoyed happy what will i do i will add images here you can upload from your computer or a camera you can uh, click pictures directly or you can add any url if you have then photos from uh, your uh, computer as well then google drive if you have any images on the google drive what i will uh, use here is i will directly uh, search from google so like i want to have a happy smiley so say i am selecting this one so the first option is uh, will be displayed like this now uh, this for the second one i want to add say annoyed so maybe this smiley will do for the third one uh, sad smiley maybe this one and uh, last one let's select uh, if the student is say angry on something so angry smiley and it is a multiple choice question right if i have want the students to uh, select two options at the same time then i can uh, choose the check box option and now the next question the last one say uh, if the students want to talk or discuss uh, share something with the teacher then i can uh, use uh, this question do you want to talk about something to me so and uh, i don't want this question to be required so some students may want to share something or some may not so this would be a paragraph one now if i want to just see how this question uh, how this form will look in students view so i will just go to the preview option
So mood check-in, the student will see mood check-in. Your good name, so they will select their name. And how are you feeling today? So maybe uh, the person is not too sad or too happy. So he may uh, select the option three. Then uh, say he is bored or something. So he will select this option. And if they want to talk about something, so they may uh, say yeah. and then sum it. So now I can check my response. Just I have failed this form, so I have uh, received this response from me. Now there is one more uh, activity which we can conduct with our students, and uh, which is my most favorite. I will be first sharing that link in the chat box. Just go to that link and. Uh, Fill that form and let me know if you are able to access. Yeah, we're able to access it. Has anyone submitted this form? No one? All right, we have one response from Hamid. I just uh, wait for one more minute. So we have uh, four responses now. Okay. So let's see how I have created this form. First of all, here uh, uh, this is uh, this would be very useful for say language teachers if they want like. When we were in school, the teacher used to, uh, for English oral, she, she used to read out some words and we had to write its spelling in, in our papers. And also if we want uh, some of the pronunciation errors of the students to be corrected. So we can add audios to our forms and give to the students. So then uh, if we are not with the students, they can even access it later on. So I, how I... First of all, I have uh, uh, changed the theme and say uh, this banner of the form. And then I have uh, put the title as listening skill. So your name is the first question. Then I have added say uh, uh, spell check. In that, in that I have given the instruction as listen to the words carefully and write the spellings in the space provided. So now the first word which I had given was resilience, right? So the students will hear this out and write their response, the spelling of that word, whatever they are understanding. Then I have given two more words for that. 
and then i have one more given given one more activity listen practice and record your audio for the underlined phrase and sum it but now as you all don't have the this tool mode tool then uh, you won't be able to uh, record your response but you can surely write this down right uh, i had selected the last option and it is i should get going so the student will first uh, hear the audio and will uh, practice it and then will uh, can record their own audios now how will we do this for this you require one add on app that is uh, moot m o t e moot app so how can i download this i will just go to my google tab and there i can uh, say right chrome google chrome web store the first link will open up and in that i will uh, search moot m o t e so this is the first option so now i have already installed this so you can uh, select uh, from here you will be able to add to my chrome and then it will ask some uh, survey questions like your name where you are teaching or are you a student and all that basic questions and then you will be good to go and if it is not visible here you will just click on this uh, zigzag uh, puzzle symbol and then you will add this one more voice notes and feedback then you will click on this pin option and if I, if i have unpin then you will won't be able to see this here yeah now i will go here your name and everything is there so now i want to uh, say let me add one more question here let me try with another phone yeah so this was it i am adding one question say uh, word four then what will i do here is say i will click here click to record or hold for mood book so if i click on this it will automatically start to record your voice and uh, for the free version we are able to record for say 1 minute and 30 seconds but that is good for uh, if you want to give instructions or just read out some words then it is enough and then you will click on done it will get loaded in some time and then your voice will come here so now if we want the students if we want to see the students who they will be able to uh, click on this play and then they can hear your voice whatever you have recorded and if the student wants to uh, say record their response then what will have uh, they have to do they will also have to download a mood uh, this app so now if i have given this listen practice and record your audio for the underlined phrase and sum it so the uh, student will first read so now if the student wants to record their response so they will click here anyways i should get going then the students will do your and then uh, say i am submitting this which i requires your name so say and the teacher will be able to uh, see in the response let me remove this okay it's will uh, not coming up
useful uh, that's how you can uh, add your own audios to the google forms and now the last activity which we can do with the students that's a game like kind of activity which i'm sharing again on the uh, chat just go and play that game and let me know if you like it or not are you all able to uh, play that game uh, yes priya we are able to access all right Okay, so the last activity which I had given was treasure hunt, and I have received eleven responses. Okay. So uh, there, the first option was to choose your adventure, and then uh, some have selected by muddy road or some by river, and then if the uh, students have selected muddy road then it will direct that if you want if you are choosing muddy road then by which medium you are traveling by jeep or a walk and if you are selecting a river then you want to uh, say go by a boat or you you have to just sit way man go and then it will direct to a uh, code or something and then you can uh, able to see that uh, win the uh, treasure right okay. so uh, how i have created this form is that i have used what it is called like logic branching many of the computer science students must have already know already knew what is uh, logic branching right so what i have done i have uh, created some sections i have created a uh, total say six sections section 1 out of 6 is displayed here so there uh, i have uh, put the description of this uh, say a uh, treasure hunt title of my form and then i have given instruction say select any one option you have to select one option then you have to read the questions carefully and use the clue given underneath the question and you have to also be aware of uh, say if it is upper case or lower cases because uh, these forms are case sensitive if you select for say valid response so then all the best go for your treasure after that i have uh, put one question say your name so they have uh, put their name and then i have selected this add section so that will direct to a next page right so after that you have to uh, choose your adventure if they are choosing muddy road and if they are choosing river right and then if you are if they are choosing muddy road then i want them to go to say muddy road options only like uh, if i have to so, uh, show it like this this is my treasure hunt the first group name or their name then the section 2 is like muddy road or a river they have two options and if they are selecting a muddy road then they will have to uh, get two options like where if they are going by a jeep or they will go by walking so these two questions should be there and if they are selecting a river they will be direct directly to the fourth section which says a boat or by swimming they are going and all this four option after selecting this four options all will be directed to this fifth section which is the code to get the jeep or uh, boat to get started with them and if we have uh, if you have successfully uh, decoded this one then you will reach the treasure so for that first of all you will have to create all the sections first section was say your name So I have uh, put up your name, and then I have selected this tab, add section. So I have got section two, 
then i have choose uh, choose your adventure and in the description i have added how do you want to reach your treasure so choose your adventure then if i want to say muddy road or a river then if they are selecting a muddy road then directly they should be going to this option right a jeep or a walk section 3 so here what will i do i will go here and i will select this option go to section based on answer if i am selecting this option they will be directed to that section if the if they uh, respond say muddy road then now i want them to uh, go to section 3 directly and if they are selecting a river then i want them to move to section 4 all right and then after uh, similarly for section 3 uh, if they are selecting a muddy road then if they are your medium of traveling so here also i will do is that go to section based on answer and there i will go to uh, the next uh, fifth section that is the code section right so i have selected go to section 5 and solve this go to section 5 which is the solve this then i have the fourth section similarly like to the three one third one river then i have uh, they have to select the medium of traveling say boat or a swim and all that will be directed to the section 5 in the last and then i have say fifth section is like this solve this and i have also given one description to this solve this to get a code so now write down the value of one apple using this image shown below and this is a compulsory question and i have also given a clue if some students are not able to answer this so add the number of apples and then divided with the total number so there are four apples so 4 divided uh, 28 divided by 4 will give you 7 so the answer would be a 7 now i want this to be a response validation right so i will be selecting here response validation and also i want to show the description to the student what was my description the clue right if i uh, uncheck this then the students will not be able to see the clue so i have selected the description option and after that i want the uh, correct answer to be a number and it should be equal to 7 so if they are uh, putting a wrong answer so they will uh, get the option like check the clue and try again and after that if they have successfully decoded this then they will be directed to the sixth section so uh, after section 5 just go to section 6 or if i again want to say go to the previous section then i can also add that option but here i want to go to the move to the sixth section so congratulations this is your treasure and then after this the students will be able to submit the form so i have now received uh, 19 responses and even i if i want to see uh, the responses question wise then uh, i have received uh, this is the first response and a uh, first out five and if i want to see the second response then i can go and uh, see like this is for section 2 so uh, 10 responses i have got for muddy road and 10 for river similarly if i move to the next response then medium of traveling uh, some have left it blank then six have responded by uh, are going by jeep or walk so we can even uh, see the responses question wise and if you want to see the individual responses of each of the student so i will just click here and uh, the first i am getting is of uh, priya say student priya so, uh, then i i will i am seeing the her response is here all right and now if i want uh, here this was a first student so if i want to see of the second student then they can see all the responses as well and now if i want uh, say to uh, for a uh, giving them marks then what i can do i can select this option create a spreadsheet so this responses would be directly uh, converted into a spreadsheet 
Excel shape. So I will just select on the create option. And even the time when they have submitted their answer, everything is visible. So your name is there, then what options they have selected. And then uh, if you want to say give marks, if this word was a quiz question, so I will add one here, like marks, and then I will uh, give the marks. Uh, that's all for my session today. Uh, thank you, everyone. Over to you, Shweta. Thank you, Priya. Thank you so much. The session was indeed enlightening. I'm pretty sure that we all have got a great insights about the Google form. I would read few praises which are mentioned in the chat box for our deserving resource person. Uh, the first appreciation uh, given by uh, Dr. Rajiv Jha, interesting Priya, I really appreciate the audio and maybe the videos, not only in languages, but also in science. Uh, then uh, Sir further added, uh, record feature is great boon in the times of online instruction. And then he also added, however, treasure hunt is something I shall also try it for my son. Thanks a lot, Priya. Then audio feature is amazing, which is given by me. And then uh, again, sir, added uh, hearty, uh, excellent features of Google form. Uh, there to unexplored on BTTC platform. Heartiest congrats, Priya. And uh, I would like to take a few questions which are there in the chat box. Yeah, and now also you are getting a lot of appreciation, Priya. Great session, many new features explored. Good session, very informative. Great presentation, Priya. Uh, which is given, so yeah, which is given by Priya Yadav. Was a creative uh, use of Google form. Then uh, Apurva Singh came to know about various features in Google form. It was just amazing. Vidhi, uh, such an enlightening session. Then Hafsa, creative ways to use Google form, great session. So now I would uh, take a few questions, Priya, which is there for you. Uh, the first question is by Vidhi. We can add up to only one collaborator or more than that. We can add as many as we want. We have to just uh, add their email IDs and then we can do. Okay. I hope Vidhi, you got your answer. Uh, the second question is by uh, Dr. M. A. Ansari. Let us know about the advantages and limitations of Google Forms. Okay. So for advantages, it is a very user-friendly tool which we can easily uh, just go to the website and just uh, look at all the options and uh, just get going. No need of any, say, previous uh, instructions or something. And uh, if you want to talk about the, the drawback or limitation, the main limitation is that you always have to uh, uh, have a access of internet for uh, use the creating this form. It is not available offline. Okay. Uh, the next question is from uh, Dr. Rajiv Jha. Can we paste an image in Google form? Uh, yes, we cannot paste, but we can uh, insert images. As I had showed in this. Uh, okay. Here I have, uh, say, let me just go to this. Okay. Uh, Let me just share my screen. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So in this treasure hunt, what I had done here is I had given this question and then here I have selected that image. So now how will I do that? I will just put up my question and for the if I want to uh, add images for the options, I can do that like I have done for that image. Uh, smiley activity and if I want to add a uh, say image to the question like I, I have given here so I will just click here 
and then you will uh, you will be able to uh, see the options like i if i want to down upload it directly from my uh, computer or say click from my camera or you have a url of of the image you want to upload or uh, say from google drive something or you can directly search uh, google it out the photo you want Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for showing us the steps, Priya. Uh, the next question is from Pratiksha. What is the word limit for description? Can we put image links, etc., in description? Uh, yes, you can put the uh, links as well, but uh, there is no no word limit. You can just write it. You can write anything you want. You can write uh, like uh, I had given you. It's like a uh, say a. Uh, five sentences i have given right so there is no word limit i can okay. even add any link here and uh, she further added that is it possible to create a google form in hindi or marathi language uh, as such there is no option of creating uh, in other languages we can import the uh, questions yes, in can, other language yeah, yeah we, can, we can do that them. yeah perfect so um yeah azmina uh please show how to allot points marks for the questions let me take up another say oral exercise for this i want to uh, do it a grading one so in this options i will uh, go to the uh, in settings i will click on the quizzes option and make this a quiz and if i want it to release the answer then i will uh, click on immediately after each submission so if, if the student submit they are uh, going to uh, view their score card there only and if i want that uh, uh, that i want to uh, first review their answer and then only i want to display their score card so i can even do this perfect perfect so uh, that was all uh, about the question answer session uh, now i would uh, request uh, dr m a ansari sir and uh, dr rajiv ja sir to give us the valuable feedback of, uh, of today's session yeah after going through the session lovely session of priya uh, i'm very happy that uh, today when she started with the google form session earlier also we have attended the session but today she took some another dimension and i am still sure there are many more things we need to learn uh, because maybe today we have learned how to add the images or maybe the audio part that was very very interesting even i was not aware of that part maybe uh, in the next cycle Uh, somebody can take how to use google form for videos how to use google form for audio audio and as well as video both together maybe further because uh, uh, many things are still un unexplored we don't know what is the limit of it because we as a human being we only uh, for a particular time period we only uh, do something and we forget it but when we are doing such activities uh, i'm sure in the two two weeks part today is the eighth day i must congratulate dr jha for uh, giving such a lovely inputs to all our students and under her guide under his guidance you people are really uh, doing well you have understood the concept and you are taking it forward and i'm sure in the near future when you all are going to be the would be teacher now you are the would be teacher tomorrow you will become a an actual teacher Where you will be using all these things, and I'm sure in whichever institution you people are going to work, uh, you will be an asset for that institution because maybe here you are learning or your here you might be involved in doing only one particular SDC. But I'm sure by the end of the year, all my 50 students will learn maybe 200 uh, uh, tools. and uh, i'm sure in the coming years when you will be discussing all these things with your colleagues they will be very very happy with you that you know so many things 
So that is one important aspect that is coming out of from this SDC, and I'm sure you all are looking forward to learn new things every day, because after going through the list of that, uh, uh, what we say SDC, I'm very happy that many things are discussed and it is going on because it is a intellectual food for all of us. Thank you, Shweta, and thank you, Priya. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Sir. Uh, now, uh, the platform is open for the feedback from the students. You can switch on uh, your video and give us the feedback. Uh, you know, it would really uh, boost our morale. Shweta, you mentioned about Dr. Jha. He's there on the platform. Just invite him if he's there. Yeah. Sir, is there or sir? Because I don't know how you mentioned, na, sir, is there. Yeah, as yeah, so uh, he was there, but right. I don't think so. He's Achha, there maybe, now. Maybe, huh? Yeah. So. Okay. So anyone, uh, our classmates who want to give uh, feedback to Priya. Amazing section was and knowing about the different features like treasure hunt, adding that uh, more, uh, that uh, audio. That was a uh, very interesting to know because in other tools, we have other features, but here we know about the Google form. I was using the Google form for the questionnaire, but I was not knowing about the other features, which I learned from Priya's section. Thank you, Priya, for... I want to mention Thank one you, thing, Shweta, Arisha. here. Uh, when uh, you people have taken admission, Reshma was the first person to share that uh, she was knowing only few tools. But I'm sure Reshma now you are enjoying our BTTC. Same one is over, same yeah. two is going on, and I'm sure in same two <laughs> yes, sir. also. Because uh, whenever uh, I'm in class, I'm always thinking of some student or the other uh, what they have shared initially when they have joined our institution. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yes, sir, definitely. Either. Till the end, I will be very perfect or complete person for to teach Correct. in Correct. colleges. And sir, one more thing I want to know, I want to uh, share here, like uh, I was very confused with the Google form and the cert autocrat uh, certify. It was introduced by the SYBA. But when I saw this list of that SDC that one one person will introduce this or they will very so i will come to know each and everything features and tools till the end of the sdc correct thank you for dr rajija sir and all my bttc uh, sirs and madam I, I appreciate all the work with my mentors uh, performing very well and i am getting confident also with them thank so, you so much <laughs> looking forward that in the next cycle of sdc you will be one of the resource person yes sir definitely Thank you so much, yes. everyone. Okay, so uh, lastly, I will hand over the session to Miss Vidhi for vote of thanks. That is why Vidhi is on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yes, oh, sir. She is there on the screen. Chalo. Sir, I didn't want to waste time. Raja, let me sit on the camera. No, no, but complete. Okay, good afternoon to one and all present here. Uh, I would like to begin with a beautiful quote by, Ron, uh, by Randy Roche. Uh, it say, uh, he says, um, showing gratitude is one of the most simplest, yet uh, the most powerful things humans can do for each other. As the eighth day of the scaffolding digital com competencies, tools for synchronous and asynchronous classrooms comes to an end, I am honored to receive the opportunity on behalf of our entire class to propose the formal vote of thanks. First and foremost, I would like to express my thanks to Ms. Priya Singh, our resource person for today, who shared her vast knowledge of the online tool, Google Form, which indeed is a very creative tool. A very special thanks to our principal of uh, Bombay Teachers Training College, Dr. Bhagwan, Bhagwan Balani, and Vice Principal, Dr. Mandeep Kocha, for always looking out for new and motivating us in ways uh, 